I like the resiliency uh, of this team. Uh, it was an ugly win. It, it was not fun to watch. It wasn't exciting. It wasn't sexy. Um, but there was a couple instances in this game where uh, I thought, in particular, the defense really made stands when they had to. Um, and also the offense kind of push comes to shove. They needed to get to that 14 points. They figured out a way. Um, but the defense in particular, um, we saw right before half, kind of that goal line stand and kind of some some interesting uh, couple plays there from Tyrod Taylor. Um, ends up, you know, scrambling in the red zone with, you know, time winding. And then, you know, right at the goal line, he checks into a run play and... You know, the, the defense makes a stand there and ends up being, you know, the clock runs out. They don't even get the field goal attempt, um, which everything else equal completely changes the complexity of this game. You're talking, you know, that nine points at the half. All of a sudden, they just need a field goal on that last drive if, if everything else stays equal. Um, so kind of a blunder on the Giants part there. Um, <laughs> Dable was pretty, pretty hot going into the half on that. Um, but, you know, for what it's worth that Tyrod is checking into um, that run play because they're getting the look that they want for it. Now, it wasn't a great decision to run in that with no timeouts. Um, but for what it's worth, he checked into that play because he, he thought that they could run and score and the Bills make a goal line stand. Um, so I thought that was impressive. And then the, the last... Last couple of plays of the game. I mean, the the Giants get down right on the goal line. Elam took a, a pass interference or a holding, you know, in the end zone. So it goes right to the one. There's an untimed down. Now, I do think Taron Johnson got away with uh, a hold on that play. Um, I will say that if, if that. If the roles were reversed, I would be on this podcast today talking about how we got boned on the last play of the game. Um, those don't really tend to go our way too often. Um, I, I often feel like we're the ones catching catching the wrong side of the officials. So I, there's nothing I can do. I'm, I'm going to take this. I'm going to be happy. Um, there's nothing to say that, you know, given one more untimed down, the Giants would have scored, wouldn't have scored. Um, but... I thought Taron Johnson did kind of read that play nicely and could have been a pretty easy touchdown without him there. Um, so good on him for making the stop. But again, the defense just kind of stiffening up when when they needed to. Um, now, did I want this, this game to come down to the last play? Absolutely not. Uh, but like I said, we're not going to be thinking about how we won this game in January. Um, just got to get that win. And honestly, with the Jets winning yesterday, this would have felt like such, you know, despite it not being a good a good game for the Bills, I feel like it would have felt so much more deflating if we were talking about a loss today, not just because of the opponent, not just because, you know, the team didn't look good or anything. Um, with the Jets winning yesterday and the Bills losing to the Jets in the beginning of the season, um, that would have dropped us into third place in the AFC East, which is, would have been crazy. I I don't even care if it was for a week or two. There's this team has no business being in third place in the division. Um, so there's there's a lot to figure out with this team. Um, a lot of warts to fix on offense. Um, hopefully Kincaid gets healthy and comes back in, and and we start kind of being able to get him to be a little bit more of a focal point and really be able to expand that passing game outside of digs, um, which I think is going to be immensely important down the stretch um, to be winning meaningful football football games down the road. Um, but for right now, it's a win. I'll take it. 